Hello internet world, welcome to my day. Today for me is an organisational day, so I've got lots of business communications to do, emails, video descriptions and editing, and some new project details to work out the finer points before I start on a couple of new business projects. Today is also the day that I'm recording with the Nikon 1 AW1. Now, if you haven't seen my unboxing of this digital camera, please do check out the link in the video description. And as always with my new camera video tests, I show you these two canvases on the wall just so you can see how much detail the particular camera I'm using for the day actually picks up. And this Simpsons canvas is a really good test purely because it's got some really nice vivid colours on it. And the screen on the Nikon 1 AW1 is looking very good. It probably doesn't quite do it justice. The colours seem a little tiny bit dull, but hopefully in the final video they will come out nice and clear. Very minimal noise as well, which is good. So let's get on with the rest of the day. Now I've also got a bit of an update for you on a couple of products. I've always been in the search for a really good screen protector for the iPhone 6 and I've tested a few now. This particular one is from Qdos. It's called the OptiGuard Glass Protect and I've actually got it on my iPhone 6 now and I'm very pleased. It comes out to the edge of the screen still, allows me to use a case with the iPhone 6. It's got a nice sort of smooth cutout at the top and I think it works really well. I've still got this complaint with all of the glass screen protectors apart from one that I've tested which is a full coverage screen protector and that is that it comes up to the edge of the glass and I just wish it would come out maybe half a millimetre more because sometimes when you're looking at the phone at an angle, let me see if I can demonstrate this, when you're sort of looking at the phone at an angle sometimes the glass just sort of makes the edge of the screen sort of diffract light very slightly but overall this one is a really good choice, very very good indeed. Now the other update I want to give you is on this, this is my Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and I have got a Rink Fusion case on this. Now the reason this is important to show you is because it's currently my case of choice on the iPhone 6 and the reason I like it on the iPhone 6 is it's a nice simple case, you can still see the beautiful design of the iPhone through it plus it has port covers for the 3.5mm headphone jack and the lightning connector. Well. This one for the Galaxy Note 4 is exactly the same, beautifully made, shows the awesome design of the Note 4 and it has a cover here on the mini or micro USB connector and also a port cover at the top for the 3.5mm audio jack. Adds on a little bit of bulk but it's just a very very simple case, very well priced and it just works extremely well. This is the Rink Fusion and I will leave a link to this in the video description. So here we can see my little zombie figurine and we're going to test the underwater capability of the Nikon 1AW1. Now as I submerge it into the water I'm going to continue speaking just in case the microphones still pick up the audio. So here goes. So we're going under the water. The camera is fully submerged and it's still recording. It's quite difficult to see the screen but you can still see my little zombie figure. And I've just got the top of the camera poking out of the water now. And then we're taking it out of the water completely. Everything is still recording. So I'll be really keen to see what this looks like when I play the video back. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. Hello Mr Milo. I see you have had a rather cool haircut. It seems like my videos lately are turning into cookery programs, but really, this is me. I am cooking again. The evening meal tonight is chicken stir fry. And these vegetables will soon be making their way into the wok. So it's been a really good day today, and I seem to have got a, a lot done. I really have all of my business communications. I've managed to finalize a few more details about this new project I'm working on. And I just wish I could share the good news with you, but I can't. I can't share the info with you that I tweeted about earlier as well until it's all been finalised. So I will show it very, very soon, just as soon as I can. Now, something else as well. I ranted yesterday about how late our post was. It was almost five o'clock when the postman delivered our post. Today, a big improvement, roughly three hours earlier. So tomorrow, we should get it in the morning if they make that same improvement in time management again. I'm only joking. But anyway, the other thing today, 
that I was really impressed with is the Galaxy Note 4 4K video footage. This Samsung smartphone, or phablet for want of a better term, produces really good video quality. The 4K video resolution and the detail, really good indeed. And the accompanying audio, very good as well. So really impressed on that front. If you haven't checked it out, please do check it out on the channel. So anyway, today's video has all been recorded with the Nikon 1AW1. Let me know what you think of both the video and the audio quality in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. I'll see you all again tomorrow.